All right, so uh, welcome uh, to my channel. In this uh, video, I'm going to interview the Chief Operation Officer of uh, Student Coin. Uh, please welcome uh, Mr. Peter Barbachowski. Welcome to my interview. Welcome to my channel. It's a pleasure Hello. to have you in my interview, my channel. Hello, thank you for having me. I am a CEO of Student Coin and I'm developing um, it since the very beginning. And it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. So. I've been reviewing a lot of projects about cryptocurrency in the last uh, two, three months. And uh, one of the projects that I noticed from the beginning of the February uh, was Student Coin, which I see very interested. And uh, I participate myself in this project. And also I made uh, two, three videos about uh, Student Coin. And then a lot of people from Greece also and Cyprus participate in the, the Student Coin project. We, we see a lot of activity in the Telegram uh, channels. And uh, more people, more and more people want to know, uh, has uh, some questions and are uh, some concerns that want to, you know, about the whole project and want to know more about this. And I have today some questions to, to ask you, some specific questions about this uh, project, okay? Yeah, sure. Thank you for your trust and thank you for interest in student coin. All right. So the first uh, and simple question is, uh, what is the student coin and what is the purpose of this project? So student coins aims to revolutionize the future of finance and this future is definitely based on tokenization. Thanks to STC ecosystem, everyone will be able to create personal tokens of any kind. Moreover, it will be immediately listed on our exchange. So any person in the world will have a possibility to buy it in the open market. Nevertheless, uh, to make it all possible, we have created our own educational section, which um, includes our cryptocurrency knowledge in a nutshell. Following each panel, you are able to easily, and what's even more important, securely use the blockchain technology. To spread our idea through the world, we have created relationships with numerous students and research clubs all around the world. Uh, it allows for raising awareness of cryptocurrency markets among the most technologically advanced people everywhere. Uh, I have just a question here. You say about the educational panel. I saw that, but I'm not 100% sure that I understand so well uh, what does, what exactly is that, is that project. It means that people can learn for uh, more for cryptocurrency in general. It's going to be something like academy. Yeah, so you can compare it to some kind of academy. So there is a basic knowledge of sending transactions or storing your private keys and stuff like that. So everything which can make the blockchain so decentralized web secure. Perfect. All right. And uh, yeah, if you want to add any, any uh, more spe specific details on this or I go to the next question. We can go move forward. All right. So the, the next question and very uh, famous question is like, uh, I think people ha have not understand uh, how exactly is the cooperation with the universities. And this is, there is a misunderstanding. And uh, I have some, uh, I, I also talk, we talk also another time and uh, I have an idea. I, have, I think I've, I got an understanding, but I would like you to, to explain a bit more to the people uh, this uh, corporation, this uh, support or anything uh, with the universities? So as I've mentioned, we are directly cooperating with students and research clubs from the best unis all around the world. And they are the most willing communities for the new technologies. Uh, and it was one of the reasons why we have created Student Coin. And we are convinced that the blockchain technology is the next revolution and more and more people go, want to get familiar with it. So, and I don't want to tell the name right now. However, we are working with specific universities right now to create their own tokens, but it will be uh, our next steps. And at this point, I would like to mention that if any university or any research club wants to cooperate with Student Coin, please feel free to reach me on LinkedIn and feel invited to revolutionize the crypto market together. Perfect. Actually, I had, I had an interest already from Greece from, uh, from two universities. So we're gonna talk uh, after the interview maybe. Yeah, great. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, all right. And uh, I heard also something about, I think, in other video or some somewhere I read about ambassadors in universities. Uh, how how this uh, works exactly? It's so, some, yeah. According to the fact that student coin team is connected, studies on various units, we have uh, different connections all around the world. 
and mostly they are our friends or blockchain enthusiasts which are contacted us and they are spreading our idea among their friends so these this kind of marketing mm -hmm. all right and uh, and i saw also some some uh, announced some announcement about cooperation with some universities one of them is the tamint if i remember the name of yeah, the yeah it's a research club uh, to be precisely mm -hmm. and uh, this is a research, technological research club when we want to together raise awareness of cryptocurrencies provide different kind of lectures and offer some kind of our knowledge regarding the whole crypto market Mm -hmm. So we want to be a global source of knowledge of blockchain for them. Perfect. And we have uh, a great uh, device so and the tools, which is a student coin. So the real working project, which is built of waves, so which allows for cheap transactions and are awarding this educational value. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And uh, is there more? I, because I don't remember. I see a lot of information, but every day I'm I'm just researching a lot of projects, and I, I can't remember now. Uh, is there also more than one? Uh, I think it's more than one universities that you are incorporating. This thing. yeah, yes, yes, yes. Exactly. How many? How many are right now? It's hard to say right now. I and I don't want to make any facts in uh, in front. So we have partners with four or five research clubs currently, and we are working on more, which will be published uh, soon. Perfect. All right. So let's go to the next question. Uh, and the next question is that uh, in your platform says that somebody can create NFT tokens. And uh, we see that NFT tokens in uh, the last two months are very, it's so much so trend. It's everybody talking in the internet about NFT tokens. And uh, is there any specific difference or reason that somebody should use student coin for NFT tokens or just in general also it covers the NFT tokens to be built in the platform. Mm -hmm. so because now will... technically many people doesn't understand so maybe some more information will help this. Yeah. Yeah, we, we will provide a completely new solution for the whole crypto market which allow for creating any kind of token as easy as a profile on a social media platform. In our case, the amount of various utilities is literally unlimited. So moreover, as a creator, you are immediately getting listed on our exchange where you can easily get noticed via rankings and utilities. So that's our advantage in short. Hmm. Yeah, I saw that. That's, uh, that's that information I saw already in the website, yeah. All right. So uh, there is also the STC exchange, student coin exchange. So how is that gonna work exactly? How is, when is gonna be started? And uh, if you can give some more information because we know some about like Binance and some general uh, uh, exchanges that we know, but we don't have many of the people who doesn't understand so much about the exchanges, how, how they're gonna work. So if you sure. wanna, yeah. So from the beginning, we have a great software team who is constantly developing the exchange. And at this moment, I can say that if everything goes as planned, the MVP of STC Exchange and Terminal should be ready on the at the end of June. Or if everything goes as planned, mm -hmm. that everything will be ready. Every token, so coming back to utility, mm -hmm. every token created via a terminal, as I have mentioned before, will be listed on the STC Exchange in pair with STC. Nevertheless, we are going to list also other cryptocurrencies as well to create a possibility of buying these tokens with any popular crypto. The only difference is that student coin will work in this case in somehow like a middleman. So for example, sorry, if you sorry, want to- Sorry, what was the last one? Uh, that student coin will work like, somehow like a middleman. So mm -hmm. for example, oh. if you want to buy our next token, so smart market, not definitely our, but the next token based on STC, smart marketing token with ETH, it will go ETH, STC and STAC smart marketing token. So it will work more or less like Uniswap, so DEX, but combined with sex as well. So that's most of the, mostly that's all. The exact okay. product will be and will be ready at the end of the second quarter, and I hope everyone will uh, take advantage of it. Awesome. And uh, okay. So about also the is actually in this in this. Uh, I'm gonna. I want to ask something more about the 
they change because I heard something about the that uh, is going to be staking rewards from the exchange, but I, I don't think I'm not sure that I understand uh, totally how is going is there going to be uh, staking rewards or how how exactly is going to be with the yeah okay so according to the facts that uh, rewards are dependent on STC exchange results, they will be launched at uh, shortly after the start of the exchange and uh, the profits from the exchange will be divided from all the stakers and also they will be dependent on the stake amount and the lockup of uh, and the period of a lockup. Mm -hmm. And that's that's how it works like. The more people are staking, the more is being divided among them all. Awesome. And uh, uh, the, the percentage of staking, it's any uh, information that we can know from now or it's something that you're planning is going to be announced in the future? Something. It will be announced in the future when the exchange is ready. It will be every, everything will be clearly um, explained on our website. Um, right. To be precise on the STC exchange website. Mm -hmm. All right, and uh, the staking is gonna, I guess then the staking also is gonna start after the the launch of the uh, exchange, of the STC mm -hmm. exchange, exactly. right? Yeah, exactly. Perfect. And, um, all right. And uh, somewhere I, I saw about, I, uh, I read in the website about student loans. Can you explain us how, how this is gonna work exactly? Mm -hmm. So in the future, we would like to create a possibility for students to tokenize themselves and take up studies without the necessity of taking out the loan for years. So for example, if you have a um, talent or a business to raise, you will be able to tokenize its future inflows in a form of token instead of taking a loan. We strongly believe that it will completely change the um, study world and moreover, open many new paths for most talented people all around the world. Okay. Thank you. Uh, let's go to the next question I have here. Okay. And uh, there you announced it in the website. You have that uh, in the website somewhere, I remember. But there's going to be some major uh, changes in May, right? That is going to be the student coin. Land, uh, listed in some major exchanges. Yeah, that's true. So we want to spread our idea through the most efficient ways on the crypto market. That's why we are currently speaking with seven exchanges from top 10, top 20, and top 30. Mm -hmm. However, for obvious reason, I cannot provide any names at this stage. Mm -hmm. uh, but I can say that uh, through the by the end of the second quarter, we would you aim to be listed on 10 major exchanges and 15 on by the end of the current year. Mm -hmm. It maybe it, it seems to be a huge amount uh, in the meaning of a standard project. However, we hope that we we know that it's the best and the most efficient way of spreading our idea, and it's the best time to do it right now. All right, thank you. Uh, let's go to the next question. And what's going to be, uh, as, what do you have, uh, can you say anything about future projects that you have that's going to be in the student coin project? So the whole cryptocurrency market has grown rapidly recently, and it's, but it still has enormous potential. Therefore, the first token is the smart marketing token, which will work as a fuel for, for any kind of blockchain startup. And we can expect a launch of it a few weeks after the end of our ICO. Then we have a plan for some uh, software tokens of the development company mm -hmm. and some more, which is connected with Green and universities on the other hand. But I don't want to spread uh, direct information right now, and they will be announced soon. However, we hope that um, after the ICO, we have very and uh, extremely positive feedback and the amount of projects is uh, who are ready and who wants to get tokenized is pretty impressive yeah, yeah i'm sure uh, i see i see a huge amount of positive energy in the group and i saw that there are more than 50000 people now participating in this project and it's really amazing how active is the whole team because usually usually we never see something in the telegram uh, or somewhere uh, the corporate of a uh, project like this responding so much to the people for any kind of question or anything and the poll 
and some other guys there that we respond is really uh, is doing a really amazing job. Yeah, they yeah. and I appreciate it. Thank you Sorry? for I, I will tell them the greetings and they are seriously intensely active. And yeah. thanks to them. I remember when we were standing, there were like we were celebrating first 100 people on the telegram when I was allowed in. And right now it's it went crazy. <laughs> yeah, and also also student coin has, has grown so so rapidly. I think more than we expected. I didn't expect it to be so fast. So uh, yeah, the, the so whole rapidly. I think the whole uh, vibe or the whole sentiment on the market is very positive, and we can't imagine the better time to arise our idea. Mm -hmm. All right, so I have a few questions more. Uh, actually, before I go to the uh, few questions, I just wanted to, to uh, clarify a few things that the student coin is going to be proof of stake and not proof of mine, right? Yeah, like okay. it's it not, uh, not proof of stake, but it's already pre-mined. It's already proof of mine now, proof of it's, work. It's pre-mined, so the all units are currently created however they will be developed in a time dependent okay. on the inflows from the exchange so it's not neither proof of stake of proof or mine mm -hmm. we All are right. not planning and to change it right now and conducting this kind of work so yeah. okay and uh, is this going to be uh, fully decentralized at some time in the future it's a purpose mm -hmm. of that uh, right now we are like it's the general idea of blockchain, of blockchain technology. However, we are now focused on our next steps, and it's two away ideas for us at the moment. We need to be focused on the development of the exchange of and terminal and tokenized firms. So that's our main goals currently. Yeah, and there's going to be something like in the future. Okay. Yeah. And um, all right. There are more people than that. Okay, what are the three most important things that are going to give value to the student coin? Oh, okay, so the first one is for sure STC terminal. So the tokenization as the fundamental value of the future investing. So we, as I have mentioned before, the easiest way of creating personalized tokens in the world. STC exchange where all of these tokens, the second one, the STC exchange where all of these tokens will be listed. Mm, and when we combine these both things with our launchpad, we have a complex, unique ecosystem, which will be something completely revolutionary on the whole cryptocurrency market. So that's how I can present it, I think. Awesome. Uh, all right. So many people are like asking also, also if, if there is any, I think it's a question that cannot be answered so uh, but okay I'm gonna ask anyway uh, some people are asking what if there can be any price prediction of the student coin for the 2021 until the end of the 21 and also for like the next four or five years as you have said it's very hard to say and I think it would be a faux pas if as a team member I provided some price predictions I think that everyone should measure the risk on their own and decide on the real value of the project. Mm -hmm. I hope that I have fully described the idea of STC and it will be easier right now. Okay. And uh, another question that I have is that uh, we saw the, the STC launch it already in the four exchanges and has a specific price that we can track even from the exchanges or the, in the coin market cap. And also a different price and cheaper in the in the website because it's in the pre-launch phase and it's like separated. Some coins are in the exchanges and some some others are available to buy from the website. And now there is a uh, for most of the people is a confusion on uh, about when when this coin is going to be live in the in the in the market. All the all the coins. What is going to be the the, the price of the coin? Uh, that is going to follow what is already now in the market, or is it going to be a combination? How is that? How exactly is going to work? It's very hard to say. However, it's, it depends on the open market results. So, what will people do with the STCs? We are doing our best to securing the value of the coin, and that's all I can say about the price. So, it depends on the um, open market 
values. I'm, I'm actually actually asking like for the first moment, first day, like when when the coin is is jumping to the the whole amount of the coins that are bought now as a, as pre-launch phase from the website. Mm -hmm. and it's going to be from 9th uh, of uh, May in the, available in the market. Uh, the price is going to start in in the whole market with the price that is in the exchanges or from the price that is in the website. So. I can imagine that right now the price on the exchanges is higher because some people want to pay more and uh, or already have their coins of the wallet and don't want to wait since the end of the ICO because they will be distributed on uh, the 8th of May, if mm -hmm. I remember correctly, however, in the at the beginning of May. So at this moment, they will decide what they want to do with the coins. The price, I, I can guess that the price will keep increasing with the ICO as the demand is increasing. And then it will get someone between this both. So when the supply meets with demand. All right. Okay, let's see. Let's hope for the best. And uh, can you say a few then about like everybody when when it's going to be the pre-launch is going to think like if what what they're going to do if they have to sell then or to hold for some time. Like it's uh, most of the people they they are not fully informed about the 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 project and uh, i would like you to like to give any advice or any suggestion or any thought on this like mm, what could you should do after 9th of may it depends on their willingness so if they want to support the project further they should hold them and wait for the exchange opportunities and the development of other tokenized uh, projects however we won't enforce anyone to hold their tokens, yes. So, exactly. but I hope that uh, future announcements will persuade them on the uh, right way. <laughs> All right, we're gonna hope so and wait for that. Uh, and another thing that I was seeing the there in the roadmap that this project has started since 2017, like the, the idea to to be built and. Like and then now it now it was the pre-launch in the 2000 just like one month one and a half month ago, and uh, do you want to exp do you want to say not explain but to say some more information about the team how you how you create this thing uh, what kind of people are are connected to this project and how you develop this few words mm -hmm. sure so it has started from a Kozminski University so one of the best universities in Warsaw Poland. And we have an idea to coincide our uni. And the feedback from us, Kozminski community was so great that we decided to expand from the world. And with this further expansion, as you have noticed, we have grown so well. We, our team naturally extended. So we have our own software development, we have our whole community management. So it's it is grow. It has grown very well. It is it it will be growing in the future, as we can see a huge potential for the project in the future. All right, all right. So uh, I think we have covered the major things. Whatever I wanted to, the major important things that I wanted to uh, to, to ask. But if you want to, to add any extra information about the whole project, because there are going to be thousands of people listening to this video, uh, you're welcome to. Mm, I think everyone needs to raise about other announcements. I have prepared, I, I, I guess I have said some pretty insightful information in our interview right now. And that's all. Thank you very much for having me. And if anything still bothers you, I honestly encourage to join our Telegram and contact me directly via LinkedIn. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you for this interview. I really appreciate it. Uh, it was a pleasure to have you here and to answer these questions, to have this interview with you. So, and let's hope for the best and uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. And thank you for trust from StudentCoin.